Hello guys, how are you? Uh, in our this video, I will tell you about how we can read data or we can insert data uh, from one database inside another database that are on the same server. So uh, let's me open the SQL Server Management Studio. Here we have different databases. So we often write query for a specific database like in on this database, on this database, or on this database. Now let's suppose I want uh, to open the connection uh, of this database and then I want to write uh, to get data inside this database from the base block or from test DB. I mean how we can get data or access data from one database inside another database. So let's me first open a query for this database, right? Now here I have a table, uh, so like historic from uh, products, yes, in this database. Okay. Now let's suppose uh, I have another database here, the practice DB. And here I have a table users. Okay. Now let's suppose I want to get access to the practice DB from the e-commerce. Here you can see that I have a query from the e-commerce database. Now how will I do so? First let's me run a query. Select historic from uh, practice DB from this database and stable should be users yes select ok I have no row uh, let me insert a row first so that we can see how the things are working insert uh, into practice db dot users Yes, let me uh, insert some regard like node. Yes, okay, like, like, change me the first name from uh, Elena John, and its username should be let's Elena. Its email address should be Elena at the of gmail.com. Yes, and it should be an active user. In the created one, I will insert the date and created by. Uh, let's me put here a simple one. Okay. Now let's me see the result. Okay, one record inserted. No. If I show you the data from the practice uh, for the products table, here I have a table manufacturer ID. Now, if I want to make the join to make a join on the manufacturer ID from the products table, that is in the in the e-commerce shop DB uh, with the user ID column in this table that is in the other database. This one. So how will I do so? Let's suppose I make a join, inner join. Uh, I will copy this one. Yes. Uh, you on p dot manufacturer ID is equal to u dot user ID. So here in the users table we have the user ID column. And inside the products table, we have the manufacturer table. You can see, guys, that I am using basically the e commerce uh, uh, database. And inside this database, I am access the another database, the practice DB, this one, sorry, the practice DB. And here I will show you only few columns like P dot product ID dot product name 
and uh, and from the from the user table i want just to show the full name okay control z sorry u dot your first name okay so from the users table i want to show you the first name let's me execute this query okay guys here you can see that i have record this record from my e-commerce shop db and this column is from our practice db the user table so in this way we can access one db um, from the another database that are on the same server it is the condition of okay. so i uh, have access to my local server right mm, no there is coming a question obviously in your minds that what is the need basically sometimes we have uh, uh, different kinds of requirement like this also let's suppose you are using a central database for only regarding the uh, the user's information there is a big database and you have a billion of users and you have other databases that depends on the user's db let's suppose this database also this is the product database the e-commerce database and let's suppose it access the user db here is one another database of your other project and access the same users then you can uh, use the same way okay thank you